Crowds all over the nation coming together to view the total solar eclipse. All told, it passed over 15 states as it traveled 1,500 miles an hour on its path from Texas to Maine. Now, we have been bringing you live coverage all day long of the eclipse. So to start our 5.30 half hour, we want to show you something a little different and really cool. Yeah, you know, you may have heard that some airlines added flights that offered passengers a chance to see the solar eclipse from the air. Well, Brian Sherman spent the afternoon on one of those flights, and he joins us now after landing at Detroit Metro. So, Brian, tell us all about it. How was it? Demond and Karen, this was an amazing experience on Delta Airlines today. Delta retimed two different flights, one from Austin, Texas to Metro Detroit and one from Dallas Fort Worth to Metro Detroit, both to run through the path of totality for at least four to five minutes today to give passengers a very unique experience of the eclipse at about 37,000 feet. Video shot on the plane earlier this afternoon. What an amazing sight. We started on the right side of the plane, then the pilots took some hard turns and got the eclipse over to the left side of the plane. Some really unique views because we were well above the clouds when we started to see this total solar eclipse for four and a half to five minutes while traveling almost 600 miles an hour running through the path of totality. Now, while most everybody got a very special view today, this day was also very special for one couple traveling up to Metro Detroit as something else happened on the plane. I, I just remember, I was like, Neil, did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And then next thing I know, he pops to question. <laughs> and I was so excited and nervous. And I, ha I just, like Neil said, it's one of those things you're never going to forget. That's for sure. That couple got engaged right after we moved out of the path of totality and continued our northeasterly track up to Detroit Metro Airport. 130 people on an Airbus 220 coming from Austin Bergstrom up to Detroit Metro. And it was about an hour or so until we reached that path of totality. But once we did, the views were extraordinary. We're going to have a much more pictures and video from my experience at 37,000 feet in the path of totality on clickondetroit.com. For now, reporting live from Metro Airport. I'm full warned meteorologist Brian Sherman. Karen and DeMond, we'll send it back to you. Hey, Brian, I got to ask you about the mood on that plane. I mean, because it was different here, like on the ground, a lot of people like gasped and they were quiet and then they cheered. What was the scene in terms of how did people react when, when the eclipse actually occurred? Karen, you kind of heard the same thing. A lot of oohs, a lot of ahs, but the atmosphere was electric, even getting onto the plane because of the pomp and circumstance that Delta Airlines did in Austin, as well as back here in Detroit. Once we landed, you really started to see everybody get all the phones out. There was a lot of clapping, a lot of cheering when we got to the path of totality, because most of us were really looking forward to getting a view that we may not ever see again. Yes, definitely. All right, cool story. We'll check back with you later. Thanks, Brian. We are getting so many pictures from you guys from your eclipse experience. Yeah, let's get a look at a couple of pictures sent into my pics. And that's a look at the Spur family posted up on the back deck to watch the sky show. Richard Carlson sent this picture of him gazing up to the sky in his backyard. We definitely want to see your eclipse pics, so you can send them to us by scanning the QR code on the screen right now. Your photos could be featured right here on Local 4. And if you did miss our extensive eclipse coverage throughout the day so far, don't worry. We have more coming up for you tonight at 6. We're going to check back in with Ashley, Kim Adams, Paula, and Brian as they continue to bring you in-depth coverage of today's historic sky show.